Hello, Katie Augustine here in the WNCT Now Digital Studio. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the ECU Dental School of Medicine. What started off this morning as a story um, about them being recognized as an Apple Distinguished School actually turned into something very different than what I expected, but I am going to talk about the Apple Distinguished Program Award first. So this is actually the fifth time in a 10-year period that the ECU School of Dental Medicine has received this honor. Um, what they have to do to apply, I have some examples of their um, applications here. So they have to create an electronic book uh, detailing projects, technologies, advancements, what they're doing. Today I was talking with Dr. Todd Watkins of the ECU School of Dental Medicine and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the Apple Distinguished Award. The Apple Distinguished School Program Award is given to people that are using technologies for the next cases. So instead of it being best practices, it's next practices. So one of the next practices that the ECU School of Dental Medicine has been implementing and developing, including with Dr. Watkins, is called Extensible, the Extensible Competencies Platform, or XCOMP for short. We're going to call it XCOMP. So what XCOMP does is it lets teachers track a student's progress in real time every single day. Here's actually a video of Dr. Watkins explaining XCOMP in a little bit more detail. At first glance, the data aggregation of competency-based assessment looks really complicated. A big grid with lots of numbers. When you actually kind of get down to it, all we tried to do is assess the students across the courses by these 30 competencies. And what happens, it allows us to evaluate the students holistically across their competencies and then look at each one of the students individually on each one of the areas of competence. So for instance, you can have a student that finishes number two in the class, but has a specific area of deficit in one particular competence. Our idea is to be able to use the technology to hone in on that quickly so that we can fix that problem as fast as we can without waiting to the end of the course. So it uses competency-based assessment for students, educators, and programs. This is not just something that can assist students. It can assist schools in general, can assist educators. It's very, very, um, the plan is to, to have it be very widely used across all educational systems. So it takes data from exam systems, rubrics, and other areas to give a competency score, basically how well they're doing. Well, the major thing is we find out things we didn't know before. Um, it allows us to see a specific student's weakness on a specific day. And instead of us not knowing that for three years while they're getting ready for the boards, we can identify that early and make a correction immediately. And what's really exciting for the ECU School of Dental Medicine for Dr. Watkins, other researchers and develops, developers excuse me, that have been working on XCOMP is that IBM is interested. So they've been working with IBM for some time now to create a commercial version of this project or product in order to um, sell it to other schools. And next month, XCOMP will be implemented in what Dr. Watkins is calling an educational ecosystem. When we started working with IBM on what we call the educational ecosystem, the idea was that we could first identify all the pieces of the puzzle and then use it to solve problems like mapping of student performance, mapping of program performance, and then the assimilation of accreditation reports, two of them, one for the discipline such as dentistry and one for the institution such as SACS. And then finally, it allowed us to build predictor analysis to how students would do based on their prior record to in the individual program. Together, this allowed us to start looking at building pieces of the puzzle in order to combine for a common ecosystem. According to Dr. Watkins, at the moment, many universities are wanting to implement XCOMP. It's planning, they're planning to roll it out next month for health science educators. So it's going to be in uh, dental, medical, and nursing schools. And from there, Dr. Watkins and the other researchers hope to see it go even further. But we also have systems in place for engineering, undergraduate, and K-12. And eventually, Dr. Watkins hopes that this system or this technology will be able to help schools and students in more rural areas. Our mission is to find ways that underrepresented minorities and underserved uh, rural areas, their schools can be as strong a feeder as the ones in the urban areas. You can learn more about XCOMP by reading the article. There's a lot more details in there, more quotes from Dr. Watkins if you're interested in learning more. Thanks for watching.